In the last chapter, we looked at using regular expressions within checkpoints. In this chapter, we're going to stay with regular expressions, but we're going to see how these can also be used in other areas of QTP. In this case, we're going to be looking at the object repository. Let's take a typical problem with object recognition that the regular expression could be used to fix. In QTP, I'm going to record a new script and I'm going to record the process of opening an existing order within the flight reservation system. So here I'm going to open order number 5. Once the order is open, I'm then going to fax this order. So from the file menu, file, fax order. I'm going to put in a telephone number and click send. And stop recording. Now I'm going to change the test data that's used within this script. So if I expand the script out, I can see where I open the order number, number 5 in this case. Well, I'm going to change that. So I'm clicking in the value column where we've put order number 5, click the configure button, and I'm going to change the order number to open order number 8. So that's the only thing I've changed with the script. Instead of opening order number 5, it's now going to open order number 8. And I'm going to replay the script again. This time, we have a problem. If you look at the yellow execution arrow, it's on the line that types the telephone number into the fax number field. And yet, it's not being able to execute this step. Remember, it will keep trying for up to 20 seconds, which is the default timeout. Finally, it gives the error message. Cannot find the masked ed box. The object's parent, which is of class dialog, fax order number 5, can't be found. So the error is telling me that it cannot find this fax dialog. If I open the object repository, here I'm just using a local repository, here's the fax dialog. And if I click the view object or highlight object in application, it tells me that it cannot find it. The problem lies in the title. If we look at this, the title of the dialog is fax order number 8. If we look in the object repository, when we recorded the script, it captured the title of the dialog, which is the text property. And when we originally recorded it, the title was fax order number 5, which is why it cannot find this fax dialog. Remember that on the right hand side we have the name of the object, but that doesn't matter. So here I could change the name of it to fax dialog. That would not help and would not fix the script. It's this information on the right hand side that QTP is using to identify the object. I could update this description by clicking in here and updating the title. Then if I click highlight, it now finds it. However, if we were inserting orders, we don't know what the order number is going to be, so this would cause us a problem. The solution to this lies in what you learnt before, regular expressions. Within the object repository, for any property, on the value, we can click in there and click the configure button, and in here, again, we can use regular expressions. So what kind of regular expression could I use? Well, the title always begins with fax order no dot. What I could do is remove all of that information and say it begins with fax order no, and then I could use our wildcard, which is, if you remember, dot star. 
The dot star means nothing or anything. So in other words, we don't care what comes after it. So longing the dialogue has a title that starts with facts order no. Using a regular expression, that would match our dialogue. And I can test this. If I click OK and click Highlight, you can see that it now finds the dialogue.